your state of addiction and the overdose death of a seaside teen, again putting teen opiate abuse in the spotlight. It was last October that a 16-year-old girl in Seaside overdosed on fentanyl. Just this week, the man accused of dealing those drugs to her was charged with her death, raising new concerns on just how much teens really know about the dangers of street drugs and their role in seeking help for overdose victims. We get more from Action News reporter Felix Cortez. Police and doctors say 16-year-old Perla Perez didn't have to die back in October when she took a pill laced with fentanyl that she allegedly bought from this accused drug dealer, James Davis. Police say when Perez became unconscious, her friends waited two hours before calling 911. It was too late. You had friends of the victim that were so concerned about their personal welfare that they thought they were going to get in trouble for being under the influence or maybe even in possession of a controlled substance, that they didn't put the victim's well-being first and foremost. Doctors say no one should ever be afraid to call for help. You will not get in trouble for having drugs or being on scene of an overdose. You will not. There are laws to protect you, the Good Samaritan laws. Call call for help, call, stand to the side if you're afraid you've done something wrong and, going to be in, and that you're going to be in trouble, but just call. Investigators say the 19-year-old was selling drugs out of his home and they have witnesses who identified Davis as the person who sold two pills to Perez. He was arrested Sunday, charged with Perez's death and drug dealing. But the young girl's death highlighting the extreme danger of buying drugs on the street. You don't know what you're getting. And that was the case here. What the victim thought she was buying was Percocet. It was actually a counterfeit pill that was laced with fentanyl. You just don't know. And that's the thing that I want to make sure our community knows, is you have no idea. When you take a medication that you didn't physically get from a pharmacist at a pharmacy, you have no idea what's in it. That's Felix Cortez reporting. James Davis could be arraigned tomorrow afternoon on charges of involuntary manslaughter and drug dealing in connection with the death of 16-year-old Perla Perez. Despite his arrest, police say they are actively investigating, trying to determine who supplied Davis with the counterfeit drugs.